Hello and welcome to the course of installing Ubuntu in a Windows XP machine using VMware Server. The main objectives of this course would be to understand what VMware is, to install VMware Server on a Windows XP machine, to create an empty virtual machine and then to install Ubuntu on the virtual machine that has been created. Okay, let us first understand what VMware is. VMware is a company that provides virtualization software for x86 compatible computers. Now, what is the need for a virtualization? Often, many users face the challenge of a need to use multiple operating system in their work. They have two choices here. One is to use a dual boot of Windows and Linux. Or the second alternative is to have separate PC for every operating system. Even the dual boot has certain limitation when the user needs to switch between operating systems during a course of time. So virtualization is very handy and is a very applicable solution for this kind of a scenario. Virtualization lets one computer to do the job of multiple computers by sharing the resource of a single computer across multiple environments. By having a virtual server and a virtual desktop, you could host multiple operating system and even multiple applications either locally or in remote location. So the multiple virtual machines could even have heterogeneous operating system. The operating system could be a whole lot different. All this can be done on the same physical machine. So how does this happen? By configuring the virtual machine with its own virtual hardware to run an operating system and an application. So by using this virtualization, we could rapidly copy and provide a virtual machine that can be moved from one physical server to another. For example, when we want a workload consolidation. So multiple machines, they will be sharing the same hardware resource without interfering with one another. So we could very safely run several operating system and applications at the same time on a single computer. Okay, the first task for us would be to install the VMware server on the Windows XP machine. So the VMware products can be obtained from the following website which is vmware.com and there is a download link from where the server could be downloaded. Now the registration needs to be done to obtain a serial number. This serial number is required for installing VMware on the computer. Once we have downloaded the installation files, then we could just double click the installation file where the installation wizard starts automatically. We have got to choose a destination folder on our computer where the VMware components would be installed and then the license agreement has to be accepted after which we have to unclick the auto run disable auto run button so that the auto run script starts and the actual installation begins. Once the installation is over then the installer prompts us for the serial number. Once we enter the serial number that we get after registration, the installation is successful. So the VMware server is successfully installed on the Windows XP machine. Now we would like to install Ubuntu using this VMware server. So the first task would be to obtain Ubuntu as an ISO image from the Ubuntu website. We could get it from ubuntu.com get Ubuntu download. There an ISO image of the Ubuntu is available. Okay, before actually installing the Ubuntu, the first task that needs to be done is to create an empty virtual machine. Now, this can be done by invoking the VMware server that has been installed in our machine. And there is an option to create a new virtual machine. And there is a wizard which guides us through creating a new virtual machine. Let me take you through the wizard to tell you what are all the steps that need to be done to create the virtual machine. Let me start the 
VMware Server Console. Now, I should say new virtual machine which will invoke a new virtual machine wizard. This will take me through the steps of creating a virtual machine. When you say next, you have two choices, doing a typical configuration or a custom configuration. Better to do a typical configuration for most of the devices. Now we could choose the guest operating system that we want. We want to install Ubuntu, so we will select Linux and then go ahead with selecting Ubuntu as the version of Linux that we are interested in. Then the next choice would be name of the virtual machine. Let's name it as Ubuntu and create a directory on the hard disk under the C colon named virtual machines under which a folder for Ubuntu. Then what type of network? It's preferable to take a bridged networking after which we could decide on the size of the hard disk that has to be allocated. We could either allocate the space now or say split the disk into two files and allocate later. We could do one of them and by clicking the finish button the empty VMware server, empty virtual machine would be installed and the would be created successfully. So an empty virtual machine has been created. Next we can go ahead with installing the Ubuntu on the Windows XP machine using the VMware server. Now the virtual machine that we created just now could be started and once we say enter the installation begins. In some time you will get an Ubuntu desktop where there is an icon on the desktop called the install icon. On clicking the install icon, there are certain options that need to be filled after which the installation begins. The language has to be selected. We could select that as English and click forward. Some basic information like the city, the time should be decided. And then the language of the keyboard which will again be set to English and we will proceed with installation. We could select leave selection on erase entire disk and proceed further. This disk is actually the virtual disk. We need not worry if the existing operating system would be erased. So what they mean by disk here is the virtual disk that is used by the virtual machine. That is nothing but a file on the operating system. So after which we can give the login information that is required, the name that will be displayed and the login and the password. Also the name of the virtual machine that we would be installing. So the name of the computer has to be decided. After all these informations are given, we could click on the install button. So and once we wait the installation happens, then the machine could be restarted. So there is a red button called the stop button in the virtual machine. That has to be clicked first and the virtual machine settings have to be edited. After editing the virtual machine settings, if we start the machine again, we will take into the login page of the Ubuntu where we could give the username and password that we created during the installation and we could log on to the Ubuntu operating system. So the procedure is very simple and uh, the screens give us the information on what all need to be supplied for installing Ubuntu successfully on the virtual machine. Now anytime if we want to come out of the VMware server and get back to the Windows operating system, Windows XP, we could do that by just pressing Ctrl Alt Shift. So this Ctrl Alt Shift allows us to break from the Ubuntu Linux and get back to the uh, Windows XP machine. So switching between operating system is very simple by just executing a control alt shift from Ubuntu. Okay, let us summarize what all we did in this class. We defined what VMware is and discussed the need for virtualization 
and also said that VMware provides virtualization of the software. Then we talked about how to install a VMware server in the Windows XP machine and then to create an empty virtual machine first using the VMware server and then to install the required Ubuntu version on the virtual machine using VMware server. Thank you.